Hello, once again, I'm Reva Simcoe, Head of Collections and Exhibitions at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. In the last video segment, I was showing you some Christmas card lino cut prints by L.L. Fitzgerald, which are part of the WEG collection and also currently installed in an exhibition, Into the Light, which is on at the WEG right now, but of course, which we can't see um, due to the closure. So in this video segment, I've brought in a special guest who also happens to be my husband. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is uh, Jonathan Green. I'm an artist who uh, works in the print field. And this is my studio, Campsite Press, in the basement of our house. And today John's going to show us um, how to make a lino cut print, much in the same style as Fitzgerald would have done. So, step one. Uh, cutting the lino block. Uh, so this is linoleum. You know, a uh, simple, easy to carve uh, substrate. Uh, the, it's been around for a long time, and this is a lino tool. Just a you know sharp little cutter, and you cut away from yourself. And I'm just making marks on my block. So then we're inking up our block. So you use some um, relief ink. You uh, spread out a nice little line with your palette knife, like so. This is a brayer. And you're just rolling out a nice little palette of ink. And you're looking for that hiss sound. And now you're ready to roll over your block. Recharge it. And there you go. So next step is uh, registering your block on the press bed. Uh, you can use many different types of paper. Lino cut is very forgiving that way. As well, you don't actually need a press. You can actually use a wooden spoon or a doorknob to print your prints as well. But I have a press, so uh, we'll use that today. This is my paper. And you have fancy paper, but fun fact, actually Fitzgerald used to use all kinds of scrap paper for his prints and his drawings, um, even just cast away things that he had in his studio. <laughs> nice. So we lay the paper upon the block, like so. We take our blanket, and now we're ready to print. And step four, and this is the exciting part, printing the ball. And now to reveal. Oh, it's upside down. Ooh. The benefit of printmaking once you have the block is you can print as many as you want. So, 20 bonus points if you can name what building this is. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for visiting us at Campsite Press and hopefully we'll get to see you in the L.L. Fitzgerald exhibition sooner rather than later.